What's up, WMS? My name is Elliot. And I'm Philip, and you're watching Bulldog News. Today is Friday, November 20th. Let's take a look at a video about an exciting new club at WMS. Hey, Bulldogs, it's Faith, and I'm here with Ms. Troyer, and I'm going to be asking her some questions about art club. As a science teacher, how did you get involved in art club? Yeah, um, well, I love art, and so even though I'm a science teacher, um, I'm an artsy-fartsy kind of person. Uh, a student just approached me and said, will you be the advisor for art club? And so I said, yeah, let's go for it. And then afterwards, I thought, oh, yeah, there's a whole art teacher and art class. And I talked to Ms. Holstrom, and she said she'd help with suggestions and stuff like that, um, too. So that'll be great. Nice. Yeah. Um, what are students going to do during art club? Well, um, this is something I've come up with kind of with the student who started Art Club. And that idea is that students can bring their ideas for projects. And I can bring some of my ideas for projects. And then we'll just kind of vote on what we want to do based on what materials we have and what feels fun and doable. And then we'll make a plan. Okay, so that'll be what we do next week during Art Club. Um, right now, I'm also trying to get some funding so that I can send home art supply kits to students who don't have art supplies at home so that everyone can be involved even if you don't have a bunch of art supplies at home. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to do painted art, yarn, um, and beaded art, maybe a little bit of weaving, um, using art using at natural items that we can find outside, and maybe even we'll dabble in digital art Although I don't know much about digital art, but students actually know way more than I do, and maybe they can teach me a bit. Who can participate in art club? Any WMS student, any grade level. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping to be able to get funding so that I can send home 20 art supply kits for students who don't have art supplies at home. And the last one is when is art club? It will be on Mondays from noon to 12.55-ish, so right before advisory. And it will start hopefully on November 23rd. So please be sure to join us for our first meeting. All right, thank you, Faith. Yeah. Great job, Faith. Looks like our club will be real fun this year. Now let's hear about another interesting club starting at WMS. Are you a nerd looking to meet with other nerds to get together and do battle against the forces of monotony and boredom? Has coronavirus got you feeling like your constitution is in the toilet? Could you stand to gain a few more charisma points? If you identify with any of these statements, then you're probably an excellent candidate for D&D Club. Yes, that's Dungeons and Dragons, people. What better way is there to vanquish the fire-breathing dragon known as COVID than with a Zoom meeting? Come one, come all to D&D Club Online Edition, and together we will don our N95 helms and hold high the mace of Purell as we vaccinate all against the toxic cloud of isolation in a socially distanced party of virtual merrymaking. When it comes to fun, D&D Club is a critical hit every time. All levels of experience are welcome. We assemble Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.15 via Zoom. If interested, please send an email, owl, or carrier pigeon to me, Mrs. Perry, or my fellow adventurer and wielder of the mask of invulnerability, Mr. Wills. We will be seeing you in the dungeon. Wow, Dungeons & Dragons sounds eerie and super cool. But now, on to one more club starting at WMS. Let's take a look. So I started Spectrum Club for so many reasons. Um, when I graduated from high school only 10 years ago, uh, even at the large high school I went to, there were very few students who were out. 
there were even fewer outlets for LGBTQ students to connect, to process their experiences and their identities, to talk about specific issues, and to just be, not just in a space that was free from judgment, but a space that was actively loving and accepting. A lot has changed in those 10 years, um, but what haven't, hasn't changed is the need for that kind of space to exist. I also think that the existence of this club and its ability to be a thing here at WMS really means something. And I wanted to be making that statement for our students and our community. Clubs like Spectrum can be unpopular. Um, so it was important to me that WMS has Spectrum Club to show that we are a school that is accepting of all students and not just that we are tolerant, um, but that we believe in creating opportunities for our students who are often pushed to the margins to not just survive middle school, but to thrive. So last fall and winter, there were about 15 core students who attended Spectrum and around 30 students who attended semi-regularly. So it was a pretty big group. In Spectrum Club, students hang out. Um, just talking, games, singing, and watching the occasional movie. I'm really excited to see what this looks like in our new digital club space on Schoology. So while we're in distance learning, Spectrum will take place all the time. Um, we have a Schoology page that club members will be able to access so they can stay connected to each other outside of our Zoom meetings. The Spectrum official club Zoom meetings will take place during the lunch break on Thursdays from 11 to 12 o'clock. Even though Spectrum is an LGBTQIA support club, many students bring their friends who may or may not identify as LGBTQ. We never make any assumptions about any student who attends Spectrum, so long as you are contributing positively to the space, you are welcome. I am a sponsor for the Spectrum Club because I have always been an ally to the LBGTQIA plus community. Many of my friends and family identify on the spectrum and I know firsthand how important it is to create spaces where students can come together and feel heard, seen, and supported. That's my main goal for the Spectrum Club. So long as you're contributing positively to the space, you're welcome at Spectrum Club. Students can contact Ms. Savinsky or me to request access to our club Schoology page. Thanks, Lucy. What an inclusive club. Now let's go to my good friend Bardia for the weather. Hey, there, you mess. It's Bardia here, and today I'm going to be telling you the weather. The forecast for this week is going to be right here. Our high will be 51, and our low will be 37. As you can see, on Friday, today, and Saturday, tomorrow, it's going to be mostly cloudy. But from Sunday to next week, Friday, it's going to be all rain. So you're going to need your umbrella. Wait, oops. I meant, yeah, you need your umbrella. Thanks, Bardia. Here are these week's birthdays. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a great day. your birthday happy birthday 
It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a great day. That's what we say. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday, it's a great day, that's what we say, happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a great day. That's what we say. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a great day. That's what we say. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a great. And remember, Bulldogs, be kind. Be safe. Wear a mask. And make good choices. And make good choices.